Here, I'm going to show you how to slice and dice your data like this. Let's go from the regular view to the top 10%. And how about now, the bottom 10%. It's a really neat little thing I'm going to show you how to do, and it's going to work to slice and dice your data to show a subset of that data and hide everything else. And it is not specific to top and bottom 10%, so I'm going to show you how to customize it for your data set to show whatever you want, as well as use whatever colors you want. Now, make sure to check the description of this video for the link to download this file so you can follow along and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon so that you can get notified when I have a new tutorial. The more of you that do that, the more tutorials I can make. So now, let us go ahead and start fresh. It will be much easier if we go to a blank worksheet and bring this guy back. And before we do anything, I'm going to reveal the magic trick. It is conditional formatting. Uh, this guy right here. And what we're going to use from this is new rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. So we are going to be using custom formulas to figure out which cells require color and which cells should be hidden. And uh, that is what we're going to do right here. So let me zoom in. And uh, let's create a sample data set. Rand between. How about 5 and 100. And uh, let us go 5 by 4. Or how about 4 by 4. There we go. And control C to copy that. Alt E. S, V, enter to paste special values, or just right click and paste special values. If you watch my tutorials, you should know that keyboard shortcut very well by now. So let's take a look at this guy. You can, if you just select this and go to conditional formatting, go to highlight cells rules, and you've got lots of options right there. And you've got lots of options right here. So you can use top 10% right here. And you get some cells highlighted, and that's nice. But we cannot switch this on or off using a nice little drop-down menu like this. And we cannot hide all of the other cells. So that is not going to work for us. Uh, let's clear all of the rules and build out the formula. And the formula that we want is equals percentile. The old one was just percentile. Now we have exclusive, EXC, and inclusive. We are going to use the inclusive percentile. All you do is select some data, comma, and then enter the percentile. So if we want to get the top 10%, we go 0.9, close that up, hit enter, and 82.3. Anything greater than or equal to that is going to be highlighted, or in the top 10% in this case. You can change 0.9 to whatever you want, maybe 0.75. So all you have to do is to figure out what percentile you want, or whatever you want here for the function or formula, right? You don't have to use the top 10% or 50% or any percentiles. All we're going to do here is to create a custom formula that will eventually output true or false. And that tells the conditional formatting to either turn on or turn off. True means it's on, false means it's off. So now that we have our percentile 82.3, now we have to get a bunch of true and false values for this table. And what I'm going to do is to, let's back up one more, there we go is to mirror this table with the final formula, or one of the final formulas that we're going to use for the conditional formatting check. Well, I have this number. That's my threshold. So let's compare it. Equals this guy. Greater than or equal to uh, this guy. And let's put some dollar signs, so F4, around this guy, so it won't change when we copy-paste it. And let's go over 4 and down 4. And now we can see all of the cells that should be highlighted. 
And this will be the same, by the way, as if we go here and put back the top 10%. So 99, true, 85. Okay, I did have five rows instead of four. A little mistake right there, so let's add one more. Uh, there we go. All right, so 85, true, true. Getting the exact number of rows correct down here does not matter. This is just to make sure we have the formula right. But now we have verified it is good. So let's go ahead and take the conditional formatting rule off again. And let's make the final formula. So here, let us put the final conditional formatting formula. And we shall copy this and go here. And for conditional formatting, you want to start with the upper left cell, or the cell that you will select before you add conditional formatting. So we click that guy, no dollar signs, we want it to update for copying the formatting to the right and down, and then greater than or equal to percentile, but we do not want these to change. So F4, and there is one of our formulas. Now, in order to hide these cells that we don't want visible, we have to reverse this. How do we reverse this? Well, we grab this guy, copy it. We'll make this a final formula, paste it in, and greater than or equal to becomes a less than. And we can go over here. So copy this, go over here, paste it in, and make that less than, and mirror this table. So everything should be true except for the two guys that are true over here. And now it looks like we've got one of them done. We have the top 10% done. So we have one of the choices from our menu. Now the only additional thing that we need to do is to make it so that we can use a drop down menu to turn it on or turn it off. And uh, that means we need one more check. Well, let's put this guy up here for now. Top 10%. And our check for that is going to be equals of this cell, dollar signs, so that it will always stay the same cell, equals top 10%. And it is true until it is not. So all we do is a very, very simple text check. Now, how do we combine everything because we need true and false to be the final output for each one? Well, we shall grab this, copy it, go here, and put everything within the AND function. That says that every true-false check must evaluate to true in order for the AND function to return true. So we have our big and nice formula right here. It returns true or false, and then we go comma, and paste in that one that checks if this cell says top 10% or not. Close it up. Finally, we are done with that guy. Let's finish this one up as well. And, and now to the end, comma, paste it in, close it up. And this does look like a lot of work right here. And we are making a very, very messy spreadsheet, right? We started off with something nice and beautiful like this. But trust me, make it very messy, but organized and orderly. Get your formulas right and build them in a step-by-step -step manner like this. It will make it so much easier because troubleshooting conditional formatting custom formulas is a terrific pain. So get everything working right and then copy it. Select the data starting with the first cell, the upper left cell, and then go to conditional formatting. New rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Paste that guy in there. Do not touch it. Go to Format. Let's go for Fill. And how about a green color? OK. 
OK. And there we go. It still is very, very basic, though. Let's go ahead and hide everything we don't want visible. Copy this guy. Select everything again. Conditional formatting. New rule. Use a formula. Paste that guy in. Format. And go to the Number tab this time. Go to Custom. Go right here to a General. Back that guy up. And do semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. Three semicolons. Notice the sample is now blank. It is invisible. Hit OK. OK. And there we go. It is gone. Now, the data has not been deleted. It's just not visible right now. If we double click the cell, there we go. And if I hit Escape, you can still see it in the formula bar. So it's not really, really hidden. It is still there. But if you remove the formula bar, then you're not going to see it. And you could combine this with protecting the worksheet and not allowing the user to select the cell at all, and then they wouldn't know what value is here. It would look like it has disappeared completely. It is a great little trick, actually. And now you want to turn this back on. All you do is make it so this does not equal top 10%. We could even just delete it. Now all that we do is to repeat this for every single view that we would like. So we want it for a bottom 10%. We change top to a bottom 10% or whatever you want there. And 0.9 becomes 1. And then we go less than or equal to. So finish up your custom formula. And then we shall go and make the reverse of it. Let's make these guys yellow as well. Copy it in. A new rule formula. Paste, format. A let's go to more colors, custom, and some sort of red. OK. 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 Now let's type in bottom 10%. Perfect. Now let's grab this guy and make all the other numbers disappear. New rule. Formula. Paste. Format. A number. Custom. This is very tedious, as you can see. Semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. OK. OK. And there we go. Now all we do is to make this guy data validation. So click it and Alt-D-L or data and data validation. And let's go for a, a list. And what do we want to type? How about regular view, top 10%, and bottom 10%. OK. And there we have a drop-down menu, a regular view, top 10%, and bottom 10%. And repeat as many times as you want, so you can have as many views as you want. And you can make this for the entire worksheet, not just a little table right here. You can really go crazy and add conditional formatting all over the place and control it from this one little drop-down menu. It is really a cool thing that you can do. My one tip for this, though, at the end of everything, password protect your worksheet. Do not trust your final result with an end user. It is so easy to mess up or remove conditional formatting. You may spend five or six hours working on an entire worksheet with all sorts of great, amazing stuff, and then with a click of a mouse, someone messes it up. But now let's finish this up, and let me show you how to make this guy look a little bit better. So we insert a new row, and we call this guy a view. Let's go ahead and give it some sort of background. It doesn't really matter what it is, maybe like that. And 
make this a little bigger, and then go to Insert and Illustrations, Shapes, a rounded rectangle, and draw that right at the edges around this guy. And then go to Shape Fill, No Fill, and Shape Outline, Weight, make it a little bit thicker, but not too thick. Then we can go down here, and let's clear everything, clear all, click this guy, indent it one, go to a view, no grid lines, no headings, no formula bar, and remove this. And there you have a nice final result. And of course, don't forget to add the headers and whatever else you need and some formatting for the dollar signs. And then you have a very nice data set. And that is all for this tutorial. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon.